Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Welcome from New York City in Manhattan. Woo! Alright, anyway, today we're going to discuss what our favorite cruise lines are. Spoiler alert, we have different favorite cruise lines. So, we've only cruised four cruise lines before. That would be Norwegian, Princess, Royal Caribbean, and Celebrity Cruise Lines. So, um, before we tell you what our all-time favorite cruise line is, we're going to start with the two cruise lines that we weeded out. The ones we weeded out. So Weed them out, baby. Weed them out. We, weed them out. Uh, I'm going to put pictures of weeds right here. <laughs> weeds. I, I tell you guys, I'm a whiz with the editing. I'm a whiz with the editing. Anyway. Uh, okay, anyway. So, without further ado, uh, our first least favorite cruise line. And by the way, uh, we, we've had great cruises on all these cruise lines. So, just because it was our least favorite cruise line doesn't mean we hate it. But number one, our least favorite cruise line is Norwegian. NCL. Um, We've cruised NCL more than any other cruise line, but, but go ahead, Ben. So, uh, even though we recently posted a video saying the Norwegian Pride was one of our all-time favorite cruises, and it was. And we also had another amazing cruise with them, which is when we stayed in the Haven, which is their suite area. That was phenomenal. That's first class. Go down our videos and watch that video, because mm -hmm. we have, I think it's a two- or a three-part series. Mm -hmm. But... Um, Here's, we're just going to quickly go over why this cruise line was not one of our favorites. Um, since we've been cruising them, we've always had like uh, guest service issues come up. Overall, the staff is lovely, but uh, a, a couple of times something in our room broke down and trying to get like someone in the room to fix it has been a pain. Like you'll call the services you'll just be on hold forever and then i also had one of again most of the staff is lovely but i had one of the worst customer service experiences with the like the rewards program um on our last cruise uh usually like whenever like you're a rewards member like uh, uh usually when i cruise norwegian there's like when you walk in the room like the uh, champ there's like a bottle of champagne because I, I forget what level we are, but it's we've done quite a few cruises with them So we're kind of up the tier and you also get free waters and like the pins and this and that chocolates on the pillow Yeah, blah, 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 blah. and um, I was reading like what we get now because we had like just moved up another tier And one of the things that so we got was two waters so early on bottles of water. Yeah, so early on in the cruise like there, there was never any water or champagne or anything, but I was like, maybe they give the champagne later. But um, there was two- We don't drink anyway, so. Yeah. But there was two bottles of water in the refrigerator. And that's it. There wasn't like a mini bar. It was just two bottles of water. So I was like, oh, this must be the water. So I had the water, but then we got charged. So I went to guest services. A bazillion dollars a piece. <laughs> So then I went to guest services and explained, oh, I thought that was the water I was supposed to get included. And they were like, oh, we can't help you with this. You have to go to the rewards table desk. Um, and so I waited online for like 45 minutes. This is now the last day of the cruise. And the person at the desk was just so rude to me. Essentially, they were like, why would you assume which was like the way they spoke to me it was just it was rude like that is the rudest experience i've ever had on a cruise yeah. because usually even if like you know orders are messed up or something goes wrong people are apologetic but the the way i was spoken to was rude and y'all i have been in customer service for many many years okay like so i always uh talk to people understanding that they have to deal with jerks all day long so i was just like well i just assumed that the water because i didn't get anything and he was like well you assumed wrong like and <laughs> and like and i was like well he was really like that too. <laughs> he was really he, like that. seriously and i was like well don't i get water and he was like yeah. And I was like, but uh, what else do I get? No, I didn't get anything. And he's like, you were supposed to ask. Supposed to ask? No, it's supposed to be in the room. It's supposed to be in the room. You're not supposed to ask. Anyway, 
I, I'm going on a tangent here, but the, I am fine. totally going on a tangent. But that's like one of the reasons that Norwegian is down there for us. That coupled with some of the food we've had on the ships and you guys get it. That is our least favorite cruise line. Mm -hmm. Now the next cruise line, we actually just had a cruise with them in January and we had a lovely time, but we were really disgusting disgusting discussing like what we love and we hate about each line and so princess is number three so the reason princess didn't make it onto either of our favorite cruise lines list i would say one even though the food was good we had a lovely time one of their specialty restaurants was awful it was like the worst food we ever had and that was the specialty restaurant sabatini's sabatini's it was so not good. And, and the and, sauce didn't help at all. It was just terrible. And number two, they um, the, all of the dinners that we had there took about two hours. We Forever. said that in the video. Um, and number three, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, write in the comments if I'm wrong, but I don't think they have any book musicals on any of their ships. We love ourselves like a good musical entertainment with a, a big story. deal with us. yeah entertainment um deal. so that um and also all of this new nickel and diamond how now oh my gosh they're yeah. just nickel and diamond the heck out of us now i don't know if you guys they know used this. to be free it's just yeah uh, now you have to pay fifteen dollars for room service now you have to pay fifteen dollars uh to eat in the pizza place unless you have princess plus but you can only go twice and then you have to pay after that anyway it's just, I don't like it. It's bad energy. So that's why it's not in our top two. All right, so we're about to divulge our favorite cruise lines. But before we do that, could we just kindly ask you to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> it Whether you like it or not, like it. <laughs> You hear me? It really supports our channel and it gives us motivation to do more of these wacky things for you. And we also love comments. So if we're annoying the, sh the bejesus out of you, let us know in the comments. If you think it's annoying that I'm talking over Gary, let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> if you think I look cute, let us know in the comments. If you love my mad editing skills with the green screen, let us know in the comments. Let's do a drum roll, but let's make it a slap. Look at me. All right, slap roll, please. Uh, My favorite cruise line is Celebrity. Um, we just sailed Celebrity a few months ago, and he's got notes. Uh, I got notes right here. Uh, the service, unbelievable. Just nice, nice people. We went on a mid-sized ship, which I prefer actually. The biggest thing that I like about. Uh, uh, celebrity is that it, it's not made for kids uh, on those big mega ships with six five six seven thousand people that with the slides and the bumper cars and all that stuff that there's thousands of kids on there just drives me crazy yeah and and although celebrity has like the kids activities the things but it not I, as far as i know none of the ships really have like the big water slides or any of the features right. that are geared towards children so right. at least on our ship it was like an older more sophisticated crowd but i would imagine older less sophisticated not but... me <laughs> i'm young <laughs> anyway less kids to deal with so we love that about it and what else uh, baby? the food on celebrity i don't you, you don't have to to buy um, specialty restaurant packages. Uh, we did on the other cruise lines because usually in the main dining rooms, the food really is, it's, it's, it's average to good. It's, it's hit or miss. But on Celebrity, the food was fantastic on, in all the um, main dining rooms. And we didn't have, we didn't have an average meal the whole time. We there was all five star stuff. It was good every meal, lunches, dinners, you name it. And the last thing I like about Celebrity is um, is was the ambiance. It's a sleek, modern look. It's just um, uh, I prefer a mid sized ship, which which we were on the Celebrity Summit. So even just, though the ship we were on was older, they had recently renovated it, so it looks like all the newer ships. And yeah, we just really liked the design. It was like elegant, modern, yeah, cool, a little really, funky. Really liked it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Food service. 
ambiance, no kids. No kids. I mean, yeah, that's... You had me at no kids. Okay. Um, Go so, ahead. okay, mine. Yeah. So, okay, I did a lot of soul searching. Gary wanted me to go with celebrity because then I was I, then we both could have been then like we, yeah. our favorite cruise is celebrity right. and then you guys would have been like oh that's so cute they agree about everything um, <laughs> we don't and, and I I was going back and forth and I was really thinking it over and I decided for me we they already know because we edged everything else out mine is royal. <laughs> You guys know. So let me tell you why. Because I actually really don't like the main dining room food in Royal that much. And what we did like about it when we cruised was that they had escargot every night, which is our favorite thing. Every night, every escargot. Night. But we would order three or four plates of escargot before the meal. But I know they don't do that anymore. So that can't be a reason. You get one. But I think their specialty dining restaurants are so good. Amazing. I mean, I'm thinking of fine dining. The Grand, the Central Park one, is so good. I forget what's called like Central Fifty or I, I can't remember. But you guys know if you know on the Oasis class ships, the Central Park restaurant is so amazing. We also we love. We should know the name of that restaurant, but we don't. It's called like Central something. Um, we also love the uh, we love Chops, the steakhouse. Yeah. It's so good. Um, also we love Wonderland. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, that dessert, the oh, shell oh. that leaks. Gosh. But um, among the best meals I've ever had in my life. So that, and then also, even though I'm not the biggest fan of children. A lot of times when we sail Royal, it's in January and it's on longer cruises. So for us, it tends not to be too crazy with the kids, but we love kid-like features. Like we love doing the stuff kids like to do. We just don't want them near us. So like the on the Anthem of the Seas, the skydiving thing, yeah, yeah, the yeah. I fly. Um, Ooh, yeah, that was good, the skydiving. Yeah. Um, I love the surfing thing. Um, we I didn't try it because I didn't want to fall. We love the water slides, like on um, Adventure of the Seas, we did the water slides. And then the biggest reason is their entertainment. Um, besides having book musicals that we love, like talent-wise, Broadway level, but also Cats. Cats, great. <laughs> Best show we ever saw. Um, so Cats, but then also on the Oasis class ships, those um, shows in the the diving shows in the oh, back. Yeah. They're so oh my gosh. good. They were diving from 60 feet. So for me, even though I absolutely loved Celebrity and loved our Celebrity Cruise, the entertainment and the specialty dining on Royal just edged it out for me just ever so much. And also we have a Princess Cruise coming up. We have a Celebrity Cruise coming up. So let's see if... Uh, if we have an amazing Princess Cruise and maybe it beats out Celebrity, we'll see. We don't know. Our opinions can change. Got a, got a cruise coming up in a month. We also really want to try Holland America at some point. Yeah. I have a feeling that is our line. What do you think, baby? I think so, yeah. From well, everything we've read and heard, yeah. Well, anyway, you guys. That's it for today. Tell us what you think in the comments. And again, just another reminder, please hit the like and subscribe button. It's hit it, hit it. You've got to 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 hit it, hit it.